Hey everyone, welcome to I Totally Love It. My name is Susan, and today we're working on part one of August Junk Journal Madness Journal. The uh, guest collaborator this month is Brittany Linger from Blinger Creations, and I'll have her linked below. And the theme that was selected was flowers and butterflies. Um, you can go back to August 1st video. Um, there's a lot of, uh, you know, how we choose the theme and um, how how the whole thing kind of works. So, um, hang on, let me get my list. All right, I've got my list. Um, so, and if you're new here, this list is available two ways. Um, both the links are in the description. One is through Google. Uh, you just click the um, link and it should ask you to make a copy. And um, you can just click that link every time uh, we update it. I tried to update it towards the end of the month, getting ready for the uh, upcoming month uh, collaboration. Um, or you can get on my coffee shop where it's a PDF. So if you don't want to mess with a Google Doc, um, is that Google Doc? You can just download. Um, and you know, either one, you you know, you can just uh, keep it online. You know, you can just make a list. You don't have to necessarily copy it if you don't want to waste paper and ink. Uh, but when you go up there, you won't have that. That's just my monthly uh, paper. But um, page one, you don't need to print page one. Page one is just the um, journal theme ideas. Uh, it's just a brain dump, and uh, I've added another line with two new um, ideas. So just ever-evolving uh, document. So the pages you're going to need are the last two pages that are labeled page two and page three. Uh, page two is going to be the items to include. You need to include 11. So this is materials. And um, I had to add another line. Uh, we added some more things in here, like piano roll, braille paper, greeting cards, all those different kinds of tags that you can already buy, um, like alteration tags. I didn't put layaway tags, but you know, same difference. You can just add the word layaway in there somewhere. Uh, anything that's not on there, add it to the bottom and let me know. Either, and if you're making a video, uh, let me know, or um, send me a message in my video. And um, or inst Instagram, you can message me there. Let me know, hey, can you add this? I got an open spot there. <laughs> uh, all right, and then the last page is items to make. Uh, these are things you're going to need to make for your journal. And once again, we've updated uh, mostly in this column here. Um, I had a multi pocket item. I don't have this four angled pocket, and uh, I may end up just removing it. Um, but the multi pocket item. Uh, you can do that more than one time. I would say as long as each one is different because, you know, you can fold it this way and got angles and this way. So um, don't feel bad if you've got to repeat something. Um, oh, zigzag pocket. I've seen a lot of that in a particular Facebook group. Um, so I was like, oh, I should add that. And then um, I just moved some things over here because I try to keep like all the pocket things together and all the tag things together. And um, there were some like side tuck or was it corner? Oh, up tuck. Up tuck was missing and a tuck set is new. Uh, oh, I added um, wrap around item and an interactive item. So let's get on with this month's journal. Um, so um, in the first video, you know, when we announced the theme, uh, we put in the six choices, uh, either in a spinner or I get dice. I got dice this time, a die. I used one. <laughs> um, and I rolled and we got flowers and butterflies. But Brittany had provided me with six um, theme choices and we rolled from there. Uh, so my initial thought was, you know, a very, um, a very florally journal. Lots of spring and summer colors. Um, and then um, while I'm having those thoughts, I'm also starting to think about this other type of journal because I'm trying to make a different type of journal every time before I repeat myself. Um, and I mean like a style of journal. Um, and I kept seeing these um, like different hinged type journals. And so 
been doing a lot of research. I've watched a lot of videos on accordion hinge um, journals, the binding. So I'm going to do that. And then, you know, I was thinking about, oh, flowers and butterflies. Oh, we can specimen cards. I haven't been able to make uh, specimen cards. I can make a specimen card now. And so then my idea changed from having like just very lacy, florally, um, you know, almost shabby chic kind of feel um, to like a nature study field guide. Um, and so I've done a little research with those. I've done a little research with lap books. I'm not making a lap book, but I'm, I love a lot of the ideas that are in the lap book. And I think they would work for what is in my mind. I have made pages of notes. I've done drawings uh, to kind of map it out. Um, part of that is so I can sleep at night. <laughs> and uh, yeah, well, I think the, the the main thing we need to do is just get started with the cover and get that made uh, and go from there. Um, I'm going to use cardstock. I'm going to use scrapbook paper uh, and different kinds of uh, scrapbook paper. Some like uh, 49 and Market where it's super thick to, um, you know, just the real thin um, paper, was it Park Lane, uh, Joanne's brand, um, where you would need to back it on something. And um, I'm going to use some digitals. I'm going to make some things. Uh, so I'm excited about this. And um, it is August. Uh, so school has started back for me. So I'm back to mostly crafting on the weekends. Uh, so I want to go ahead and get started because today is actually July 31st for me. And I need to get some of this out of my brain uh, so I can focus on the next two days at work at least. Um, so after I decided I wanted to do like a field guide, uh, nature study kind of journal, uh, I'm not sure. I think it's going to be more nature study. I decided, ah, oh, I can make an ID card. We can give this uh, ownership to to an individual, a fictional individual. So um, I went digging through my, my photos, and I, I narrowed down some choices, and I, I told my husband uh, what I was looking for, and this is the one we decided on. Uh, this is Mildred Stewart, who goes by Millie. Mildred was one of my grandmother's names, and uh, Stuart, not her last name, but uh, it was a name on my family tree. So I put uh, those together, and my grandma did not go by Millie. She did not have a nickname, as far as I'm, I know, except Mama. <laughs> uh, but this was like a young lady um, who would go outside and, you know, look at nature and study it and take some notes. So. We're going to use her to make an ID card. Um, that will be next video. Today, we're going to focus on our journal. I don't know how bright that looks to you, but it's really not that bright. This is just some cardstock. It was eight and a half by 11. Um, so I put it in my trimmer and I just cut it in half. So four and a quarter and four and a quarter. Then I put it on my scoreboard. Um, and I scored at one and a half inches and then one inch until I got to the very end and have this little strip that I just cut off. I'll save that when I make a cluster or something. And then I did it again here, one and a half and then one inch, one inch, one inch, and then I cut that little piece off. The one and a half inch pieces are going to be on the ends. So I just score them exactly like that. Um, and I want the one and a half inch pieces to be sticking up. And then I'm going to rotate this this way. And I'm going to glue those two pieces together like that. Now, some people would go like this and try to go glue it like that. You can do that. However, then it's going to change my outcome over here. Because, like I said, I have mapped this thing out. So I needed one and these two go together, go together, go together, and then one extra at the end. And then these two pieces on the ends are going to attach to the covers. So what I need to do is glue those together right there. Um, so while I'm gluing this, so the theme is flowers and butterflies. 
However, I am going to add to that. Why would you do that, Susan? Because you can't. There's no rules. Uh, you can add to it. Um, did I do that right? No, let's, you know what? I did it backwards on that one. Because the paper is textured on one side, and I really want the texture on the yeah, outside. That's all right. Just zigzag it the other way. So maybe this will help. Yeah. Zigzag, zigzag. So what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I am adding extra to the theme. So I'm doing flowers and butterflies, but I'm going to throw in birds as well. All right. There we go. So now it's the same. <laughs> okay. Make sure I have all my peaks and valleys at one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. I guess that really didn't didn't change a thing, did it? Gluing too far. All right, so let's see here. Now, when I was researching these, there are a lot of styles when it comes to this type of journal and how you proceed from this point forward. Um, there are some people who, who didn't use a scoreboard at all. They just had their piece and they scored it into the center and then the half and half and that way everything was kind of equal. Um, and then how they attach that to the cover um, has been different. Um, some have done this different because they had it hidden. Uh, I actually want you to see my binding. Um, but if you didn't want to see it, there's videos out there where you do this a little differently. Um, I think it would take more cardstock to do it that way. So I want this to be a journal that Millie made. And, um, you know, it probably wasn't com like complete. I don't want to say she put it completely together herself. Her own little nature study. Um, so for the cover, I'm just going to use, this is from a scrapbook pack from Hobby Lobby. It was just, uh, like craft noir or something like that. Um, I want this, I believe to be the inside piece of the cover. On uh, this is something I would never use. It's kind of a lever cheetah print. Um, and I, but I really wanted a solid for the front of the cover. So I'm going to do just that. So we're going to cut it. Um, so how tall is our journal going to be? Um, well, it's going to be six inches, like most journals. And um, my, your papers, if you're using like regular paper in your journal, they are um, eight and a half, you know, by 11. So when you fold them, they're going to be five and a half inches wide, but they're going to be eight and a half inches tall. Uh, so I want this to be taller than that. So I'm just going to make it nine, like a, like a regular, you know, a regular journal. You can certainly change the size of that. Um, so I want to cut off three inches. I'll save that for some else. All right, and then we're just going to cut this in half. So half of 12 inches is six. All right. So those are going to be my front and back covers, but. Still a little flimsy. 
Um, so we need to cover those. All right, guys, I uh, want to show you the note uh, scrapbook pads, Craft Noir from uh, Hobby Lobby. I got it out because using this page, and I actually cut it wrong. I cut it, I really want it to cut off the edge there so that the pattern could be like this and not like that. So I went to get another one, and I opted to get this one out this time. So I will cut it accordingly, uh, but that's the, this looks really yellowy, uh, but it's craft, obviously. Okay, so the problem was I should have turned this the right way. All right, let's see. This is the top, so let's cut off some of the top. Yep. So let's cut off three. Just This is going to be six. All right, I'm going to just speed this up while I glue this. So things are going to look like this for now. Uh, and I'm going to, but I want the beginning to uh, glue in there like that so you never see it um edith over at um scrapbooking with me she did hers like this and then she covered it so if you're gonna do that you can certainly do yours like that i even thought about like chipboard which i couldn't find at hobby lobby uh, and uh cereal box and then covering it with some like amazon packaging or fabric um but then I remember that I had this pad of scrap of paper. I thought, let's use this. This will be sufficient enough. But if you wanted it to look leathery, uh, Amazon packaging or a grocery, grocery bag. So I'm going to glue these in between here uh, and then attach those. I'll probably glue that first and then attach that and then do the same with the other end. And I'll be back after that. So sit back, relax, enjoy tune, and let's get cracking.
right, so each of these mountains is going to need something to go over. So it's, it's going to slide over. You have to cut uh, a little slit in it uh, so they'll fit over there. And so each of these is planned. This one is going to be personal file where her ID card and all that's going to go. The next two are going to belong to birds. That's alphabetical order for birds. The next two will go to uh, butterflies and then two to flowers. And the last one will be miscellaneous stuff. Um, so for the first one of each theme, so birds, butterflies, flowers, I'm going to make a file folder. And uh, I made a file folder for Creek on June 2024. Uh, like the thing you did before you made the whole journal and got started with day one. Uh, so uh, that one I used a different cardstock, but I think I'm going to use this. I'm going to distress it with some. We're going to use brown espresso this time around. Um, and. We're going to need to make a tab, like a file folder tab. So let's decide how we're going to do that. Um, I have previously, so in the May, nope, June. Um, thanks, Susan. Junk Journal Madness, uh, the black and white one that we did. Um, I made tabbed items to go in there and just using this little envelope punch board. Um, I really want them to, to be measured right. So yeah, I'm going to do a little math. So I, okay, I think I figured out the math. So originally I was going to go with quarter, but when I marked it over here, it wouldn't have been a very big um, piece that we were cutting off and uh, let's see how far how they do with this tab right there. okay so I end up going with half and two and a half. Now the only problem is you only see a one up here. So I'm going to go to well, if I have my marks two and a half. Yep. Okay. Paper moved. Okay. And kind of open that's right nice. now if you want these to be bigger so these are going to be two inch right. well it's a, between the valleys it's two inches all right so let's get the cutter out and trim That piece. Move it up so I can see it. I don't know why I did a little mark because the little valleys tell you where to cut it. All right, and then I want to fold this where it's just slightly shorter than the other side. I 
and file folders are around corners. So let's see what we can do here. Get another. You're gonna have to. Okay, nope, I bolted. All right, and then I'll have that'll say birds, and I'm not sure if I want to say birds. Maybe these will say birds, butterflies, flowers but I want the front to say like ornithological study <laughs> or ornithological findings or ornithological notes, something like that. All right, um, so I'm gonna ink this up and I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, before we do that, I was gonna do the other two also, but uh, I'm gonna show you how to, you need to put a score here in the middle. Okay, so the so four and a half, the middle is four and a quarter, Okay, and I believe I kept my other things for a quarter, so I'm going to do some math. Okay, I see my math over here. Uh, okay, so four and a quarter is the center, marked it, and the length is four and a quarter, so I need to go each way, two and an eighth. So if I go this way, I'm going to go to two and one eighth. If I go this way, it's six and three eighths. Okay, and then we're going to take, where's the, take your knife, and there's in the other room, but we are going to just cut from there to there. Uh, okay. And show you how this kind of works. I don't know what this reminds me of. Remember when you're kids, you make the little people in their arms or and legs your accordion balls. <laughs> so this is just going to slip on to. Yeah. Several people in the video suggested I might need to do it and get you angle to ends. So let me do that. Now these are going to eventually get uh, covered up, so I don't want to do this. Just want to ground them. Let's do that. I need to make this just there we go. I was just a tiny snap. All right, and so you're going to have to make some little 
pieces in the meantime to you decide what you're going to do here. But it's a lot of pieces to hold out so your stuff doesn't fall off. All right, so I'm going to make two more of these. I'm going to ink them up. Um, and then we'll have our folders started here. Now, I'm not putting little score lines in there like a normal file folder because so, it's not going to need to expand. I just need it to open like this. All right, so sit back, relax, and enjoy some tunes. Let's get cracking. three file folders and um, I'll get the words written on there and until that center piece is decided on and it's glued you can take things and inside it out of your journal you just need to have that little connector piece to prevent them from falling out uh, so now what am I going to do for all of the other mountains that are not file folders um, I've got some scrap of paper here that um, I'm leaning towards using this for sure. This is 49 and Market, their nature study ledger. I had totally forgotten I had that. Um, to make, uh, let's say that's one, two, three. So I think those are going to be one each to go with one of each category. But then we have the two at the front and the back that need to be dealt with. Um, and I don't know, maybe that, probably not. I'm thinking about also just taking some card stuff, um, doing similar but not making file folders, just making like a page. Uh, and then that way I can, you know, put some pretty paper on it because I do have all these other papers I've pulled out like isn't that pretty that would look nice in a bird flower butterfly journal so yeah that could be the front um the journal at the back um I pulled that out for a reason here's another one this one does not have butterflies but it's got birds and flowers this one's got butterflies. Let's see how these are a whole lot thinner, but it looks like uh, there's one with butterflies, but it's got so uh, there you go, butterflies. Ledger paper, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, these are two sided. Um, so some of these, like I don't want that side, I want this side. Um, would be great glued, glued to something. So. Um, 
we'll work on those another day. I know it's kind of weird to leave it kind of hanging here, but this is the cover, part one. Uh, this is really already long enough. Um, and I need to, oh, this was right. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to put those file folders in when I have all the other ones to put in. Uh, it doesn't go like that. It goes like that. Uh, not sure still if I want to round these corners or not, but these go like great in this journal. So I should keep them in order. Uh, it's going to be neat. Um, and so, yeah, things are going to look a little dingy. Because, you know, she had it outside and she was busy putting stuff in. So I got to tell a story. Um, I probably will go and ink this. I don't, I didn't show you me inking the file folders. Uh, because I think we all know how to do that by now. But I used ground espresso because it looks like dirt and coffee. So, uh, all right, you guys. So come back for all the other parts. Um, I'll try to label like this is cover part one. Or part one, a cover, something like that. <laughs> All right, guys, I appreciate you and your time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to go visit Brittany on her channel when she starts her journal. I know she's excited about the theme and uh, collaborating with me this month. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.